Big events, Jeff, from your report. Here at Chacho 2017, we're in the JP Enterprises booth beside it, actually, because I want to show you um, something that, that I heard about last year. Like, this is coming, you're going to like it. And, um, you know, I kind of like JP rifles, everyone knows that. I was anxious to see how the 9mm evolved since it's really gaining momentum in the industry and everyone their brother seems to have a 9mm in the AR now. Um, but most people haven't been doing it for the length of time that JP has. So as a company, uh, 2012 was the first version, the GMR-12, and uh, that was upgraded to the 15, which uh, they spent some significant time and effort in continual refinement to arrive at what we have here. This is the GMR-15, uh, again, 9mm, using Glock mags. Um, some, some other brands try some different things. I think this is uh, what most shooters are looking for. Some improvements we have in this model uh, over the prior versions. Uh, let's talk about the lower first. So this is a uh, machine built lower. So one of the evolutionary changes here with this lower on the GMR-15 is the mag cache. It's not straight across now. It's canted down uh, to match the angle that the magazine's coming in. And it's got um, the configuration gives you more leverage and longer throw to give you a more positive uh, feel and catch for, for the uh, magazine. On the other side, um, something that you're not going to find in a lot of the 9 millimeter market is last round bolt, bolt open. Um, talking to Matt, the designer, he put a lot of time and effort in tweaking and getting it just right to work with the, the little catch on the, um, on the Glock magazine to hold open. This is, I think, to me, a fairly significant evolutionary change because uh, I know personally I really like to uh, be able to work and verify that the bolt held back and that I am in fact out of ammo and don't have some other problem with that go back. So, um, big deals from, from the lower standpoint as well as some aggressive weight savings, um, some angle on the front of the mag well that really reduces weight maybe a little bit of an ergonomic feel there as well. Uh, I think that about covers the lower, the upper that you see here, and, and you can pair this with different uppers. So the, the one sitting here has a forged upper, while this is also a new skeletonized lighter uh, version of the uh, billet upper. We see a removable brass deflector here that um, you know, it looks like a pretty large brass deflector, but it's also, I guess you can call it a hot gas deflector. So you put a can on this. I like to shoot with cans. You know, it's uh, a lot of, a lot of benefits there. Not so beneficial when they increase back pressure, throws hot gas and, and half burnt powder in your face. So uh, that, that can be a big deal from a safety standpoint as well. You see a variety of different cuts for lighter weight uh, as well as aesthetics. Cool feature here, we have a charge with a side charging handle as well as your traditional charging handle in the back. Um, I think that pretty much covers what we see on the outside. If we go inside, the bolt carrier group, let me show you the bolt carrier group here. The finish is changing to a QPQ coating that is um, you know, more lubricious than some of the other coatings. You can make it slide a little better, less friction impact on it. And it's going to bounce back against the silent capture spring. Now, it's something we've liked for quite a while in the uh, Air 15 platforms. Um, a lot of use, I mean, a lot of manufacturers put them in their guns because they can't come up with something better. But the AR-15 version isn't necessarily the best fit for the 9mm. So again, the design team went back to the drawing board and spent quite a bit of time getting the right combination of tungsten and steel on the weights to get the right amount of mass paired with the right spring um, so that the shorter stroke of the 9mm is, is dealt with properly. And uh, you know, you like to see the short stroke because you know it. Typically, you're dealing with kinetic energy here. The longer distance that you allow something to travel, the more time it has to pick up speed, which means the stop is going to become more abrupt, which brings us back to a strengthened um, pullback.
So, you know, sometimes a problem with 9 millimeters that breaks it right off. So this has been beefed up as well. Um, the other options, I mean, really this platform is about what you see here, predominantly the lower, some full features on this upper as well. All the other things, um, you know, they're going to have some standard configurations, maybe like you see here with the Ready Rifle, or you're going to have the option to do it however you like. You know, um, you know what, let's, uh, I'm going to show you some footage of a couple different design directions that they went, different accessories, different stocks, different colors. I mean, uh, everyone knows JP is a strong brand when it comes to giving the customer what they want and uh, not being afraid to innovate, not just mechanically, but aesthetically as well. So um, we're really looking forward to getting one out into the field to um, see how it performs. I mean, honestly, in the discussion with the designer, a lot of great sounding things. Now we're get out and test them and see how they actually work. You know, I'm very interested to see is this bolt, last round bolt hold back function is reliable now. You know, do we have any issues with the magazine and the new larger beveled opening and different angle configuration on the mag catch? So those are things we're going to give this a thorough workout. We're going to report back to you. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, follow, all of those things so you don't miss any of the updates here at SHOT Show and uh, as we get our hands on the rifle and give workout. So, as usual, we'll see you at the range.